consuming content, and that's what we do. We are in the content business. Uh, our mission is to make sure that the content that we're giving you is meaningful, uh, it's relevant to your daily life, and the best of all worlds for us is if you feel that you absolutely will miss something if you don't pick up the news journal or go to Delaware online or go to our mobile site every single day because that is our job to make sure we're providing you with that highly engaging content. Uh, we are part of the Gannett uh, company. Uh, it's a very large media company. Uh, our purpose, our stated purpose, uh, is to serve the greater good of the communities where we service. Uh, so we feel an obligation to make sure that as residents and readers of our product that you understand what's going on in all the communities around you. So that's what tonight is all about. I welcome you. Uh, uh, have fun uh, uh, chatting with our folks. Whenever the economy gets going, do yes. you think we're going to get up? Will we get a bigger paper or more news like okay. we did in the past like okay. four or five years ago? I'm glad, I'm glad you asked because the question. Because I know you've been skimping and everybody else has been skimping too. Yeah. Well, here's, here's uh, the best way to answer that question, and it's been true for many, many years. If you think about the content of a newspaper, the reason newspapers grow and contract is because of advertising. It's advertising that drives the, the page count. Uh, we want to make sure we have minimums that we use when we know there are certain days during the week, typically they're earlier in the week, where we know that there isn't going to be as much advertising. Typically those are Mondays and Tuesdays, and then Wednesday through the rest of the week it builds out. Uh, what has happened, and we all know this story over the course of many years, there's been a lot of consolidation, particularly of the major national advertisers. That, there used to be a lot of department stores that ran a lot of in-paper advertising. And today, when you think about what department stores are left, you can count them on one hand, uh, the ones that are running in the paper. Preprints uh, are still popular. Uh, all those inserts that you see in the Sunday newspapers, many companies have gone to that. Well, that doesn't help you know, grow the page count in a paper so that David can fill it up with great news. So, if you think about three of the most important decisions that any reader makes in their life, at some point in time, it's finding a job, buying a home, or buying a car. Well, that was, and still is, to some extent, our classified section. But over the course of time, as the internet has proliferated a lot of that business, and we reaped a benefit on that side of the business, too, because we own our company owns uh, Cars.com and Career Builder and Home Finder. So, you know, a lot of consumer uh, uh, need, depending on where you get your news, has changed based on new technology. So, as economies shrink, newspapers shrink, and you will find this all across the country. Now, some, some companies, depending on the diversification, and I will tell you, our company is very fortunate. We are a very large company. We have 23 television stations who, many of them NBC affiliates, who just reap the benefit of you know, very large uh, advertising schedules from a lot of national sponsors uh, around the world for the Olympics. Uh, most politicians prefer to see their faces on television versus in print, although, and that's been true for a lot of years, so we're in a political year, you're going to see a bigger revenue influx coming into to, uh, TV on political ads. Well, what happens in a well-diversified company, it allows companies as large as ours, as Gannett, we have 81 other uh, properties besides the one you're standing in, and it allows us to diversify our revenue base so that we can have a certain number of pages you know, earlier in the week. And then as advertising picks up throughout the rest of the week, it gives David and his news staff The short answer more probably time. is, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Are these short answer for advertisers uh, to put it online, on print and online? Yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're different. Yeah, they're different pricings for different models. So, the point I wanted to make is it's directly tied to the economy. 
As economies expand, favorites get better. And I could have said that, but I wanted you to understand the reason. I wanted you to understand the reason behind it. Yeah, I know this. Uh, so Christians do not pay the bill. Well, the other thing is, is that the agencies that buy ads, they move stuff around, they'll move it from out of the newspaper into TV, come back to the newspaper, go to all online, then come back to the, they always come back to print, print always works, but you know, they, they bounce around a lot, then they experiment and try new things, and there's a, we have a whole lot of competitors out there in the digital space that are, you know, trying to eat our lunch and we have to be really good at that at that game too. So, you know, what what I was just talking about we yesterday as an example, we have a database with every house in Delaware in it. You know, everyone has been built, how much it cost when it was built, how many square feet, et cetera. What it sold for, 60, 80, 90, whatever years. You can go find all that. You got comparables. You got crime maps. We file FOIAs, Freedom of Information Acts, to get information on this stuff every month. And we update that stuff. So we could give you home prices, comparables, <laughs> school scores. We burn up a lot of trees every year to tell you what, what kids or what schools are doing the best. And crime. We give you neighborhood by neighborhood crime weekly. And all of that stuff, one of the things we're going to try to do is try to get better at delivering that so that it's in a package so that if you are thinking about moving here, you want to buy a house, you're going to be able to get it. And it won't be, it may not be in print, all that data. You couldn't, I mean, that would take more than two newspapers to fill up all that data. It wanted, you know, it, but if you want it, it's there, and it's in, in a digital play. We have to think like that, or we're going to, you know, we're, we're, we're not going to be able to do the God's work that we talk about in investigative journalism. We're not going to be able to do that kind of great reporting if we can't find a way to, to I hate to use this word, monetize it. You know, if somebody's got to pay the freight, he's, he's not going to let me pull, put a whole bunch of more pages in here if I don't have the, you know, it's, and, and I know it sometimes feels thin, but that, and that's, that's why as it goes on, we, we have to keep honed in on what matters most. And what matters most is Delaware. The way I look at the Monday newspapers, some people on Monday still haven't gotten through Sunday's. Yeah, Monday, Monday kind of ends up being a wrap-up day for everything that happened over the weekend unless there's some breaking story. Uh, and oftentimes there is. So Monday's usually a very big sports day because of all the sports activities, you know, reviews on concerts and what have you happened over the weekend. But anyway, it is directly tied to the economy. So nothing I would love better than to have yeah, a 200-page Sunday newspaper. I